How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. One of the large banks in the U.S. is getting bought out. It just came out in the last couple hours that this was a rumor uh, and caused the stocks to fluctuate in price 20 30%. And now this is a done deal. I want to talk about this, talk about the implications for the market. And if you don't mind, hit subscribe underneath the video, turn on that bell notification, so that way you can see future videos just like this one. And let's get started. So PacWest Bank Corp, if you've heard of it, that's probably because they were in distress a couple months ago. If you haven't heard about it, they were one of the banks that was kind of caught up with First Republic Bank, with uh, the whole banking collapse. And basically, they were in trouble like a lot of these other banks. They had high concentration with with uh, companies that needed some kind of yield and then they went and got long dated treasury bonds to tr or treasury yields to try to uh, get some kind of return but then because of this uh, they had an issue where the fed continued to raise rates and the value of these treasury bonds that they got continued to fall down so the face value fell down because they didn't pay that high an in interest rate compared to some other bonds that they could have in the market now. So this causes an issue, causes people to be worried that they're not going to actually be able to insure their deposits. And this was kind of what was going on months ago. But we hadn't heard too much until today. Actually, a lot of the bank stocks have been going up recently. But PacWest Bancorp, or PACW, a $1.2 billion market cap, all of a sudden, Wall Street Journal said that they were going to be bought by BANC, the Bank of uh, California, which had a $770 million market cap. It's kind of odd, right? So this happened. Uh, then both of them got halted. Bank of California first uh, for news pending, and then PacWest Bancorp halted due to pending news. Then uh, they came out with this. Bank of California to buy PacWest in an all-stock merger. PacWest holders are going to get 0.6569 of a share for Bank of California. Bank of California, $400 million raise also includes Cinderbridge. So they are doing an all-stock deal. After this came out, actually the, the rumor came out, we had Bank of California spike from $13 all the way up 19% and then came back down a little bit. We had PacWest Bancorp fall 27%. The The weird thing is, and I don't care about the arbitrage here. I'm not trying to uh, talk about how much they're paying per share. The weird thing is that this came out of nowhere. The other weird thing is that a, a smaller market cap is buying a bigger market cap in an all-stock all deal. So you don't typically see that. Usually the bigger company is the ones being swallowed up. So it seems like they were in trouble. And what we had seen in the past is JP Morgan buy up some of these companies. And maybe maybe it's a little bit small for them. I wouldn't expect that to be an issue because it's still a billion dollar company that's uh, going to be pretty easy for them to swallow up, I would assume. Uh, so the, there must be some reason in my mind that the bigger banks didn't want to buy this bank. And why would the Bank of California be able to buy a bigger market cap like this? It's, it's just odd. Right, it it makes me a little bit careful. It makes me a little bit worried, and maybe that's maybe they went through with this because they knew after tomorrow's Fed rate hike that they were just going to be SOL. So maybe they decided today was the way the day to do it. I don't know, but it it is odd, and it does make me think that there could be more issues in the banking sector, and we've seen that and heard that before from people in the government. From uh, We've also heard that from BlackRock's Larry Fink, that he thinks that there are going to be more banks that go bankrupt and fail or get gobbled up. So this just occurred, thought it was worth talking about, uh, and this could affect crypto. We've seen that in the past. Last time that there were some banking issues, the price of Bitcoin skyrocketed up. And another reason to buy Bitcoin is that Biden says that the administration is canceling $130 million in debt for 7,400 student borrowers in Colorado, according to the White House. We just saw them also cancel some other debt recently. I, I believe it was around a billion or maybe it was 10 billion. Who knows at this point? Doesn't really matter. Basically, we're going to continue to see the White House and we're going to continue to see uh, the government in general continue to forgive debt, continue to print money. 
And even though we are seeing the Fed's balance sheet go down now, there will be a time where inflation is completely gone, and we're already seeing that largely happening right now, and where we continue to print money. So another reason to buy Bitcoin. Now, with that in mind, we are seeing really good returns in the stock market as well. Today, we saw the S&P 500 move to a 52-week high, which is fantastic for anyone out there owning stocks and shares. Uh, we also have a couple big earnings today. Alphabet announced earnings. Microsoft announced earnings. Microsoft had a double beat. They're down a little bit after hours, just about 2%. Google also announced earnings. They had a earnings per share of $1.44 versus the, uh, the estimate, one thirty-four, And they have revenues of $74.6 billion versus the $72.66 billion expected. Now the shares are up 5% after hours. And probably for good reason. I mean, when you look at that, that means that they're about a 20 price to earnings ratio, 21 price to earnings ratio. If you just multiply that earnings per share by four, that was the second highest earnings per share that they've ever had in a quarter, only losing to back in 2021. And this was in December too, their December quarter or their uh, Q4, which typically is one of the best times. So uh, the be one of the best times for advertisers. So this shows that Google's on the way back. I think advertising in general is moving up and we are gonna see probably them earn more too from YouTube soon. They are increasing the price of uh, increasing the price of subscriptions as well. So I think it's a good time to be a Google investor. I mean, they had a little bit of a downturn just over the last year with some advertising, uh, which caused some profitability to fall. But overall, I think Google's a powerhouse and this is a pretty good time to be invested in them. There was a lot of fear over the last couple months with Microsoft and AI, but overall, I think we're still a long way away from that. And these big companies always figure out how to get out of trouble when there's some new uh, fad or something like that that could cause their business model to be less relevant. But as of now, this is actually my second largest holding and it's up 6.4% after hours. So if you wanna know what I'm buying and selling, you can check out the link underneath the video to the Patreon. Again, this is my second largest holding in the stock market. So uh, you can check that link out. I just added some more spots as well. So we've actually been having a lot of people join over the last week or two. So get in on that. They will not be there forever. They will sell out during the next bull run. Let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. Let me know if you're worried about any other banks collapsing. Overall, I think as long as you have under $250,000 in different banks, uh, you should be fine. But still, it, it's a pain to go through and hopefully no one gets their money stuck there. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.